Hi, hi, friends. It's Yvonne. Come thrifting with me. Let's see if we can find something to flip for a profit or just something we like. They have rearranged this whole place, you guys. Women's is now men's. Men's is now women's. That's okay. I kind of stopped and scanned to get my bearing. Because it's been a while since I was here because of that when they put in those new smell things. It's not so bad today. I can still smell a little bit, but it doesn't seem like they're on blast. I like that. A vintage European ashtray. That's interesting. $1.99. Little pottery plate, but there's only one. I like the unique pottery. If it's not a big brand name, but it's cute enough, then I'll get it and put it in the booth. If it's got a good name, then um, I usually bring it to you guys in a live sale or put it on eBay or something. World Market. Some chintz pattern wall sconces. Those are cute. Though. There's two of them for $2.99. It's not my my thing but I know some people love the little Victorian look this always makes me think of one of my favorite YouTubes to watch she's totally different vibe than me but I still love it I love to watch her and that's um, Selena vintage bombshell I might get those actually I might do that and put those in the booth oh, that's a nice looking teapot that is a nice looking pottery teapot Okay, if that's not broken, we'll get that Put it in the cart and we'll check it at the end here. Interesting studio pottery, but mm, not enough color excitement going on for me. A glass duck. <laughs> I'll pass on that. A loose height piece. It's kind of yellow though, you guys. I better not do that. That birdhouse is cute. Let's see if I can see whose that is. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who remembers high school or elementary school? Happened to learn how to play the recorder. Okay. Oh, I see something cool. Some ironwood. Ironwood dolphin, $3.99. Yeah. We'll check that out at the end of the aisle. These are probably Japan or something, right? Yeah, made in Japan. Not my vibe, okay? But I don't know what that's called, but these are old. See the like de decoupage type lace treatment? Like Dresden type lace treatment? Just got a broken finger there. That looks like uh, one of those, that girl that's kind of new. Some of this newer resin is commanding a little bit of money. There's a nice little kitschy thing, a little deck of boss jelly beans. That kind of stuff is fun to me. Huh. Kind of a nice little bottle, isn't it? I'm going to try to see what that says on there. Well, I've sold quite a few of this mold out of the booth. They go pretty quickly. This one, I'm not thrilled about the color palette. But let's see what they paint on there. Cliff scene and some teepees. So I better pass on that one. Not quite feeling that one. Some goblets. $3.99 a piece. Not bad. That'd be fun for somebody. Not bad. Lots of little figurines. Some of those might be made in occupied Japan too, I bet you. Some of them. Good chance. Let me see one. There's a snow baby. Mom's got quite a few and I think she's getting, Jackie messaged me and she's got another one she's sending mom. Mom will be happy. That's a nice little studio pottery piece for $2.99. Maybe oh wait a minute, there's a matching piece too. See that makes a difference. There's a matching piece. Right? Mm. I think I'll pass. That's nice. Mexico or Peruvian or something like that. Six ninety nine, not bad. Enameled redware. 
we, I'm in Colorado, some of you if you're new, and we're close to southwest enough that we have a large population that has, you know, what, how would you say, heritage, Mexican heritage, or from Mexico, so at my booth, I don't mind putting, you know, some stuff like that at my booth. Oh, dolls. Okay, that's funny. Look at her. Wait a minute. Let me find the place where... Look at that. <laughs> I like you. Three ninety nine. dollars <laughs> Your little partners. This might be somebody. You know, Annalise started out doing things like this and then I think she was bought out. I should probably see who, if I could figure out who these are. Let me just see because you never know. Sometimes these kind of things surprise the heck out of you as to their collectability and people that want them. It's a little 70s, 80s cat. I think I'll pass on that though you guys. These are interesting. Nice paint job. See, nice bright colors. Wow. There's a sheet bank. That might even be a little older. Let's say Taiwan on there. A little older. I'm not thrilled with the elementary color palette, primary colors, whatever. I'd like something maybe a little bit more sophisticated if I can get away with that. I know. Some people are like, Yvonne's a snob. Listen, someone sent me a message a couple years ago. Yeah, I like that. Someone sent me a message a couple years ago. They saw my name pop up on a gossip site. I mean, they're hardcore gossip. No rules. And I was like, nah, I'm not worried about that. They said something like, my name came up about YouTube resellers and they're like have you watched Yvonne Thrifty Rich or whatever and but another person said yeah but she kinda has a you can't sit with me vibe <laughs> something like something to that effect and the person that you know shared the gossip with me in case I wanted to handle it which no I don't <laughs> I thought my answer to her was like well fair enough <laughs> you know um, that's kinda true Let's be real. Let's be forthcoming. No. Everybody can't sit with me. Don't you feel that way? Can everybody sit with you? Like, don't you have some discernment too? Like, people that are shady or liars or just, I don't know. Do you want to sit with them? So, yeah. Everybody can't sit with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to sit. There's people I don't want to sit with associated with. I don't want the drama. I don't want the headache, the trouble. Let's probably get that too for a dollar twenty-nine. Another piece of ironwood. Yeah, let's put that with the dolphin. So anyways, there's that. I don't really consider that like shade. It's probably a good observation. Wait a minute, what are these? Look at this corn business going on. Somebody decoupaged and painted corn. I think that's real. That's interesting. Dollar nine nine. No, it's store bought. It's commercial. You know what? We're doing good here. Um, it's finding interesting items. So this is in good shape. So for three ninety nine, yes, that's really pretty. And you guys see this, right? Yeah. Now listen, it's got a little boo boo on the toe, but I'm sorry. This little hobbyist piece, I still have to have it. It's a German Shepherd. They didn't do a bad job, and it's a vase. $3.99. I, I'm going to fix that because that's just too cool. And I know I know that will sell out of the booth. I know someone. I'll try to do my best, and hopefully it will be good enough because that's just too cute. So we're definitely getting that. And, and yes, we did well with this. I say we because you guys are shopping with me. Okay, I know. I did well. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I say we because you guys are with me, you know, sort of. You know what I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, this from Canada. Some of these sell pretty well. So for three ninety nine, that's good. Both of these are in good shape. The dolphin and the eagle. 
good enough price. And this is kind of something. This is an absinthe bottle. I don't know if I say it right, but that's some pretty hardcore liquor. Now, normally, I don't like to, like, I don't promote liquor just because, you know, some people struggle with it for so hard. So I don't like to promote it. I'm not one to be like, post a picture on Instagram, here's my drink, you know, I'm out getting drunk. I don't do that. But some people do know how to drink responsibly, so there's that. But I just don't like to promote it. If you know what I mean, there's a difference to me. But this is kind of interesting, and these little bottles are collectible. I see some on eBay anywhere from $30 to $50. And um, a lot of people use absence, I'm not saying it right, I know, um, on like spiritual journeys, kind of like they do ayahuasca. It's a hardcore, like you just need a little bit, it's a hardcore thing. So I think I will get that. Even though it kind of it kind of encroaches on something that's important to me to not promote, but I don't think I do it recklessly. That looks kind of 60s, 70s, doesn't it? Put your rest of your card, keep it clean, easy to read. Oh look, a little ledge. Someone will enjoy that. So we've done well here, even though the smell, it's a little better, it, well no, it's a lot better, or I would have just turned around and left. So my friend was right, it's not as bad as it was when they first switched over. Um, so it was worth kind of fighting with the music. Interesting, some crosses. I don't mind an interesting homemade cross, look at that one. That's Catholic, right? See, 2000. That's, I like that. I'm going to put that in the booth. I just like it. That's kind of nice, too. $3.99. All right. I don't know what I was babbling about. You guys know. I just chat, chat, chat. Try to keep the music in the background so that it's not bothersome or cause a copyright strike. Oh. Little tonella. These are cute salt and pepper shakers. Never seen this kind before. Little cupcakes. Those are cute. I don't know how many people collect salt and pepper shakers anymore. I think it's a good idea still, especially if you're limited on space. And I suggested the idea to have really have fun is have a partner. Like, and you. Like, you get one and they get one, you know? Like, best friend bracelets or necklaces. I think that would be fun. Dollar twenty-nine a piece. Darn it. You're not going to make a lot of money on these, but they're just different. I've never seen those. Okay, I'll do it. Darn it. <laughs> I really don't want to. Okay, never mind. I'll just do it. Oh, you guys, I've got to tell you about this, too. I had to move out of the way. Yes, these are these are from Portugal. The lady's name is Helena, no Maria Helena, and there's no markings on them. But when I looked at other listings that had sold, um, the, because they would come with a tag and a sticker, you know, they're vintage. So for three ninety nine a piece, I am gonna get those. So yes, all right. I'm going to get those cupcake salt and pepper shakers. Ugh. But this saves it. Look at this. This is a Treasure Craft Jim Henson line cookie jar. Miss Piggy. I don't want to take it back out. Hang on. There we go. She does have a little chip on the nose, but I have to do it. This is $60 to $80. They only want 10 It is marked on the bottom, too. I have to do that. That chip isn't too bad. Three ninety nine. That's nice too. But the other ones do not have lids. But boy, those are nice looking. So is this? That's new. It was five ninety nine. Just some kind of a vintage inspired. I think we've done pretty well here, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go because you know what? I just heard the sprayers a little. I just heard it, and I'm starting to smell it. 
So if you don't mind, I'm going to bypass clothing. And we've done fine here. We really have. That's enough. That's a lot to handle. That's about 10, 15 items, right? So don't need to buy cartfuls every day because <laughs> it takes time to list things and figure out, you know, where you're going to put them, clean them up, take them to the booth or save them for a sale or list them. It takes time. It's not just about shopping. Anyways, all right, you guys. So I hope you had a little bit of fun. I'm really excited about this. I, I really am. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you on someone else's chat or on the next video. So bye-bye for now.